Hi, I received from Great Britain an aircraft part, as always, and I was pleased to find out that the parcel was filled with all the aircraft part paperwork as thinning material. So it is quite a nice surprise and unexpected video. So we will go through them one at a time, but there are some duplicates, but some of them are really nice. So first one here we have from the British International Airlines a tag for a piece of pipe. Dead code of 1968, no uh, expiration date. Location but it is uh, not possible to read. And some uh, worker number here maybe, nothing on the other side. So this is a pretty old one. Here we have a very damaged punch card, yes. I believe it is the first time ever I get one. And I have an old one in uh, my hands. So this one is bad, but I believe there are some duplicates uh, in the bag. So maybe I will try to uh, use uh, steam iron and uh, flatten a little bit uh, some of this stuff uh, with mm. a lot of precautions of course. So little papers here from a bad air stores. These ones are more recent. They are from 1988. In fact they are uh, stickers. Manufactured in UK, I have a whole bunch of uh, these ones. This was uh, glued on a plastic bag. In fact, I also got a lot of uh, quite thick plastic bags as a packing material, and it is always good to have because you can never have too many plastic bags. So, some uh, a tag for some. Uh, pipe. Apparently NE must mean a new equipment. Overhauled, serviceable, repaired. This one I do not know. Some uh, initials from a dude and dead code of 2001 here. They did uh, apparently this tag is uh, as a hole to attach it with a little uh, piece of uh, cord or something, but they did uh, glue it with sticky tape. So there is this green bag, which seems just to be a green bag, but it is not a near random green bag. You show even if it is a bag or just a sheet of plastic, but there is on it a very vintage uh, military designation tag. Tray mounting, it is a British military designation. So it is why I keep this. I may maybe keep just a smaller part, maybe not everything. I will see. So here, something more modern probably. There is a NATO stock number here for some kind of a cover. I will unglue it. BC primary. Yes, uh, 2002 that code. It does not say, oh, it is yes, cover something. NSN number, so it must be uh, for military aircraft. This one. Pattern, check with supervision before use. And sticker here from BAE, probably 1988. One more of those stickers. Dan Air. Engineering Limited, Limited, even green tag for uh, uh, older assembly. Dead code of 1971, this one. And it is in a pretty good condition. Very nice. This one is not so good. Still uh, done air. Uh, 1975, it is a new piece of pipe apparently. 
Hard here it is written Zambia Airways. Overside is not filled. Uh, one more punch card here. With approach for stores. Piece of pipe again. Punch card. And this must be related. Piece of pipe. That code of. Uh, not sure if it is 1994. Did they still use punch card in uh, 94? Seems quite odd. I am trying to see if any numbers are matching on this or not. Yes. So yes, it is really going to ever. Interesting. Next, this looks a lot more modern. From uh, customer is Airbus. It is a pick ticket. For again a piece of pipe transfer fan pipe routine maintenance probably do we have any uh, date code on this yes 29 December 2002 so this is more modern bigger as so so I have a wall, a lot more of this uh, pipe uh, tags, BAE Brooklyn. This one, there is a signature here, I will hide it, but it is the same uh, dead code. It must uh, go together with the uh, previous one, in fact. Civil Aviation Authority, Unité Kaidom. Buy some uh, Peter, dude. Hi, Peter. Ok. Uh, more of a pipe uh, sticker. British Aerospace, Commercial Aircraft Limited, Airbus Evasion. Uh, more uh, pipe sticker, nice uh, flag uh, logo here, flag and arrow logo and airplane shape at the same time. No dead code on this. More of the same stuff, but here we have RF Sewell Limited uh, 1992. New unused piece of pipe. Another manufactured in the UK BAE sticker. Another punch card. Another Dan Air Engineering Back 11, 111 aircraft, probably. And it is a lance piece, probably for. Uh, Landing light lance or something like this. April 1978. Uh, this, uh, I'll just uh, this written off. Bet Air UK Limited. 1984. Still for pipe assembly. So probably it came from an uh, aircraft engine workshop. BAF sales serviceable uh, one platform 1993 nothing on the other side more pipe stickers no in fact this time it is a clit whatever it means more uh, Dan Air Engineering from uh, Zambia Airways, but it is not possible. Maybe it is written support 1975. It's 
Speaking about Zambia Airways, here is a serviceable tag for a support. So is it for the same thing? Yes, it is possible. I can read AB83 something and here I have AB83 400 Q. That code is very badly written. Maybe it is 9070. Uh, I still have a little bit more, still a bag here for a door, some kind of a door, obviously a very small door, not the main aircraft cargo door. Probably more than air tags for a panel. Still for Zambian Airways. Still from the mid 70s. What else? More pipe stickers. Uh, this document here. Excuse me. More of the same uh, Airbus Limited uh, pipe paperwork. More of it. And here we have a store dispatch clearance for pipes. So it is the ticket. Uh, uh, letting the stuff to go out of the stores probably from uh, 1988. Okay, really a lot of it. We continue with this, is exactly the same stuff. This also. Here we have a little. Uh, Paper from Alan Markovitz Limited, quantity one, order number, and it is all, it was glued onto a plastic bag of some description. This one seems pretty old actually, and there is this. Guess what, more pipe assembly. British Aerospace uh, Bayer Combs T 1987 Work number Quantity received 5 and it is all old school uh, jet matrix printer uh, paper with holes on the side and we will finish with this which is actually QH washer with date code of uh, 1994, but look at this, in fact, it is not opened and it looks like, yes, the washers are still inside, so it is really a lot of packing for two washers, quite uh, amazing. And they seem to be very common washers, maybe, maybe. Stainless steel, but still over uh, overkill packing for this. Okay, so now I will uh, try to organize all that stuff and uh, find a place to put them in my storage. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.